Howdy cowdies. Aloha. Quick little weekly walk about at the collector. Heaps of cool stuff this week. Kind of like this little carved Native American Indian pipe. Nice uh, whale's tooth over the back. There's a nice gents. I think it's a Tissot automatic watch. Got a nice little gold um, badge over the back there from Ducks of the School in 1911 or something like that. A little cigarette card of Sydney Harbour Bridge without, or Sydney Harbour without the bridge. A couple of old grey nurses. An old $50 paper notes. These nice little Crown Derby pussycat over the back. Lots of cigarette cards and World War One buttons and more banknotes and currency. Coins, some lovely Marcosite brooches, cigarette cards again. There's a pretty cool little game of watch oil panic down the bottom there. He's in great nick. Cufflinks, some nice little sterling and enameled spoons and stuff. More paper currency. These are pretty cool. Old swizzle sticks advertising Rhodes Holden in Melbourne. Must have been an old Holden, Holden dealership or something like that. Really cool group. Yeah, what other stuff have we got? It's a big dough bin. Top lifts up, little drawers underneath and the rest. Lovely big bit of oak. Kind of quite nice, little green and white little hall table. Pretty cool, the big lamp there as well over the nice old typewriter. Little gramophone's cute in the red case. I like these, this is cool. It's like a little bachelor stove thing. A little oven, a little ceramic hot plate on top. There you go, made Limburg Foster & Co in Richmond. Pretty cool thing. Kind of like this little telephone stand as well with the phone. And he's lovely, the big cedar chest of drawers. I think it should have a couple of barley twist column coming down the sides. But won't be too hard to find something else. And this is nice as well, actually. A little um, triptych there with the mirror in the middle. A couple of nice little oil paintings flanking at either side. Signed Arnoldi. Which I'm pretty sure is an Arnold, Jar Arnold Jarvis pseudonym. Usually Arnold Jarvis usually paints in watercolour. Occasionally you see oils painted by Arnoldi, which I'm pretty sure is Arnold Jarvis. Anyway. This is cool. And the nice little deco auto trolley. Little tray on the top lifts off. Nice little retro chair with the matching footstool as well and a nice yellow lamp there. Got some cool clothes in the auction this week. Fishing rods, carpet runners. Box of zippers and buttons and belts and stuff. This thing's pretty cool. The big Rhodes Mark I stage piano. There you go, makers of fine keyboards. It's got the spare sort of soundboard there as well to go with it. Looks like the thing that Murph and the Magic Tones had in the Blues Brothers. The only difference is this was red shag pile carpet. This is just blue carpet covering this stuff. <laughs> A couple of cool old boxes and crates. Big lot of records. Nice little camphor wood trunk. She's cute, the little plasterware crinoline lady lamp. Big spotlights, a cracker. Nice little red HMV, little nipper TV's a cracker as well. Big boxed model kit there of the USS Constitution. Collection of prints. Big old school lockers are pretty cool with the shelves underneath. Japanese pedestal there with the planter that's a bit damaged. We've got a little drum kit stacked up there as well. Big boxes of all sorts of gear. Have lots of records. Drum accessories made by Dixon. Pretty cool little fire extinguisher box there and a nice little green enameled light to be able to be hung anywhere you want with that little hook over the top. Nice big lot of army bags and stuff and some interesting, uh, I don't know, wave analyzer there made by Hewlett Packard. And this other little amp thing up the top there as well. More records, some Chemical Brothers. Cool books, some nice E.S. Ellis books in amongst that big lot at the top there. Old Coke Crate's pretty cool. What else have we got? A couple of nice pie crust mirrors. Old Holden manuals, these are nice little drop down toasters. Holden hubcaps, more records. Nice little plane there, and big groups. A, P and S, little carburetor parts, little shelving units, a ripper. 
It's nice as well, the Crosley Bandbox Junior little radio. It's got a metal case, be different. Kind of like this little ebonized table. And like this little shelf as well with the green painted shelves, a little black stepped in base. What else we got? Another big model kit there of the Cuddy Sark. He's pretty cool. The motion lamp, it all works. Bunnikins and some nice bar trays and some good albums there. And some bad albums there. <laughs> but bits of pottery, a bit of Ryan Tanton amongst. Lou Reed. It's a nice little elephant. This one's all covered with the sort of silver. Needs to be polished up. A bit of trench art. Original pair of Oakley frog skins. Lovely Castrol Wakefield bottle there with the embossed bottle as well as the top. Dewar's bar statue. Nice little Wawa pedal. It's a little bit damaged, but pretty sure it can be fixed. Lovely big lots of china and glass this week and pub and alia and blokey stuff. Stones albums. Nice lot of cameras down the bottom there. Heaps of good stuff this week, guys. There's actually, this is going to, I know, please don't, that, there's actually some cool Avon perfume bottles and aftershave bottles this week. Some interesting records there as well. They're actually metal records with a vinyl covering. Nice little sort of stereo bench top mic there. Some beautiful cards down the bottom here. Some lovely variables and stuff like that. I'm going to move them over into the end cabinet where I had them before. And one's come along and moved them on me, which happens quite often. Well, records and carnival glass and Ainsley China. Nice big collection of Mason's China there. A little group of pottery. Yeah, I haven't got the bloody light on in the end cabinet. Anyway, got some more nice planes. Lovely old pressure gauge there. Beautiful picnic set with the red Bakelite cups. Carnival, bit of Urbach Dittmar. Nice little workman's lamp. Some great Iggy Pop records. Lovely lemonade set. And some nice bits of pub and alien and stuff as well. Little box shell plastic Ferrari racing car, some good trios. Nice little radio, Art Deco, the Galapagos Duck in flight LPs a good bit. Nice bits of Japanese export wear and Victorian glass. It's a little bit of damage on that, unfortunately. And I really like the guy boy played over the back, but once again, there's a little bit of damage, but still a lovely thing. It's hand painted by M. Mitchell. And yeah, I think that'll just about do us, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked, you know, though, if you didn't, I don't really care. Uh -huh.